I'm Dharma Jalad, and I'm here talking with Casey Ross Schmidt and Eric Rosenblatt of Kitchen Sink Microscopy. This is a vidcast on YouTube, and it is, uh, well, let's just ask them what it is. What exactly is Kitchen Sink Microscopy? Well, it's a talk show uh, where we explore all manner of ideas, sometimes a discussion, other times it's an interview. So what sort of topics will you be discussing? Uh, I like to think of it as the, the sort of things that you're a little scared to talk about over Thanksgiving dinner with your folks. Um, yeah, yeah what, what do you think? Yeah, um, as the name Kitchen Sink implies, we'll be talking about everything, uh, particularly controversial, uncomfortable, or topics that people commonly disagree on. Are you fearful of backlash? Uh, fearful? Not really, uh, but we certainly expect it, uh, given most of our topics are guaranteed to push someone's buttons. Uh, we hope that in time, viewers will come to see us not as looking to destroy their beliefs, but rather as genuinely curious and interested in sharing ideas. And you know, we're going to take this head on. Uh, the reason we use our our actual names, uh, you know, a lot of people have asked us why we're doing that, uh, because um, we don't want to come across as being, uh, you know, the internet tough guy that hides behind uh, an avatar, but does, is afraid to back it up in real life, and, and we're basically just putting it out there, saying here's who we are, and here's our opinions, and you might not agree with them, but let's try not to, you know, go to fists over it. What's your ultimate goal for the show? I think um, it's to kind of open up all perspectives. Uh, it, it's so common that we just don't understand how somebody's thinking about something and then we kind of find ourselves at odds with them because we don't agree. Yeah, and you know, we, we, we hope to bring people with different ways of thinking together. Uh, to explore what they believe, hopefully to overcome those differences. Um, as a result, we uh, hope to also educate, enlighten, and entertain those who watch the videos. Never stop learning. Exactly. Yeah. What do you think makes a good argument? I can tell you what makes a bad argument. Uh, logical fallacies, cognitive dissonance. Uh, the, basically, the, the ultimate goal of somebody trying to get their point across should be to uh, uh, avoid getting into things like personal attacks or straw man fallacies where they basically take the other person's argument and make kind of a caricature out of it to make it easier to attack. Uh, but, you know, a, a good argument really is two people that are respectful of each other's points of view. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I think for an argument to be properly settled, uh, as many sides and avenues that can be explored should be. Uh, you know, it should never be about winning, but rather uncovering the truth, uh, or perhaps finding common ground, at least. Assuming we'll ever settle anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is a topic ever likely to be solved? Whoa. No. Um, when it comes to matter of objective science, a uh, definitive answer is far more achievable. Uh, but in matters of opinion, it would seem rather naive or arrogant to imagine uh, there would be one true answer uh, without knowing every single variable and their relation to each other. It would be impossible to fully resolve an issue. No one possesses infinite knowledge like that. Well, I do. <laughs> uh, but of course. No, <laughs> spe speaking of objective science, um, you know, there are ways of answering things, but even objective science is, is prone to change its mind when, when given new information. And uh, 
you know, even in science, you can't really truly ever say anything is fully solved because yeah. you've got to keep your mind open to the new information. Uh, but we all need to do that, whether it's with opinion or facts or people who, in, in a lot of cases, look at these uh, facts that you know current understanding has given us and deny them anyway. And that's going to be many of our topics, I think. Oh, yeah, I fully agree. Yeah. Will guests of your show feel comfortable considering the nature of the show? No, probably not. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, there, there's a lot of uncomfortable topics. Not all of them, of course, but, um, you know, it. just because something is uncomfortable to talk about doesn't mean there shouldn't be a, a civil discourse about it, because uh, if, if anything, uh, the more uncomfortable it is, the more it probably needs to be talked about, the more it needs to be addressed. Yeah. And, you know, besides uncovering the truth, our priority is to be respectful and considerate to other people and their views. Uh, disagreement and challenge should never be taken as an attack on the individual. More than anything, it's an exchange of ideas, learning and developing together. So, tell me some interesting things about the two of you. Well, uh, I'm certainly a character. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, Currently in my life, my my career is a biologist, but uh, I've also done uh, a few things on the side. Uh, Eric and I, we had a band uh, that we're, we're going to feature our music in these, in these episodes. And, uh, we ran a business together. ran a business together. For six years. Uh, we, we were roommates yeah. uh, before that, you know. Uh, but, you know, apart from our dynamic, um, I've also been... Uh, Author, uh, I wrote about uh, my experience with uh, cancer from the perspective of an atheist uh, because I, I didn't really see a whole lot of uh, you know, books on the market uh, as kind of like a inspiration for atheism. You know, it's, it's usually a religious based thing. Uh, the book right here is uh, "Beating the Odds Without Any Gods." You, know, you can tell from the title, like you know, what I'm talking about in there. Uh, but apart from all that, I'm really into music. I like to work out when I can. Um, and that's about it. Yeah, and <clears throat> for myself, um, I see myself as a fairly average guy with an above average interest in learning, teaching, do it yourself. Uh, my hobbies and passions are all over the place uh, electronics, fabrication and modding, auto mechanics songwriting, programming, photography, videography, business and economics, and exploring spirituality. Um, and of course, I really love debate, which is <laughs> how we ended up here. Why didn't you just say what you don't like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, that's about all the time we have today. Um, it's been really interesting talking to both of you. So, see you next time. Yeah, yeah, it's been great. Or something like that. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, enjoy the show. <laughs> <laughs>